All right, it is time now to check back in with Avalon Park Wesley Chapel. I love, uh, number one, hearing about the construction and the growth that's happening. But what I really love is when we highlight uh, these Tampa Bay uh, game changers and the great people and organizations that are doing wonderful things for our community. And uh, joining us again, Stephanie, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yes, and we're going to meet Cindy here in just a moment, uh, who we are highlighting a wonderful organization that she is a part of. But first, Stephanie, let's uh, get a quick update on how things are going. I see all the construction down the road and things are yeah. happening quick. We love it. Yes, things are going great. DR Horton has opened their latest section in Avalon Park Wesley Chapel, and um, they have already started sales, and the models will open um, early next month. So very excited about that. We will be breaking ground on five commercial buildings this fall and looking forward to um, introducing some renderings to you very soon um, for that project. But as you know, Carly, and as we've mentioned many times um, on the Morning Blend, uh, the mission for Avalon Park is to change the way the world lives, learns, works, and plays. And when we hear about community partners who are doing that through their work and service, we love to highlight them. And that's how we met Cindy. We learned about what she was doing with Hope Services and just love what they're doing and wanted to bring her on and highlight some of the great work that they're doing. Yes. So, Cindy, welcome to the show. Uh, and if you can uh, rewind back a little bit, I know this is a personal experience and kind of why you got into this. Uh, but tell us a little bit about uh, Hope Services and, and what you are trying to accomplish. Wesley Chapel, that's hopefully, you know, will carry uh, well beyond our, bo uh, our borders here. Thank you so much, Carly and Stephanie, for inviting me to join you today. I'm excited about this opportunity and sharing with you a little bit about Hope Services. Hope Services has been in business 18 years. We are a 501c3, which is a not-for-profit organization. And I was inspired by my daughter. My daughter has lives with disabilities. And through her, I learned that there needed to be life after high school. So many of our students, once they graduate, they kind of fall off the cliff. Um, and during school, of course, they get the education and the learning skills, but once they graduate and they're not a possibility for maybe high for a college or even a training school, that's where we uh, felt the need and desire to start a training center. And if you see in this picture here with Kimberly and Deanna, myself and Sally, uh, we're actually on the grounds of the uh, the uh, Wesley Chapel Recreation Center that's going to open in August. Their grand opening is August 28th. We're partnering with them. We're going to open our first pilot program. And in that program, we're gonna offer food services, custodial services, housekeeping, and computer training to start out with probably 10 or 12 students. And as they graduate, we'll bring on more students, but we want to help them to have the potential to become employable and good life skills. I would imagine that you see the need uh, is is really great, uh, especially here in our area. Are you finding that out that once people find out about what you do, they say, yes, yes, we need this. Believe it or not, Carly, one out of every seven Floridians has a disability, wow. which is a large potential. And uh, in Pasco County, I know that we are in the process of building a, um, a, a center for um, those graduating from high school. They're not college bound, but again, they're not for the disabled population. So that's why we wanna offer something for the disabled to help them with vocational skills and um, life skills so they can become um, employable and live on their own someday. I love that. Is there any help that you need from the community, whether it be, um, you know, funding, I can imagine, or volunteers, or I mean, is there businesses that can kind of jump on board and say, we want to be a part of this too, you know, and finding jobs for them? I mean, what, what would you need, Cindy? Oh, yes. All three above. Um, yes, okay. we could, uh, by all means, uh, accept donations, and we have received some donations already, which we greatly appreciate, and thank you so much for those. Um, we could use um, employers, employers that would be interested in uh, meeting our needs by employing some of our persons that living with disabilities. Our people that live with disabilities are employable. So we can definitely bring them to you. And also, if you would be willing to share some time to come and share your experience with our persons living with disabilities at our training center, that would be very helpful too. So absolutely, any help you can be, and if you have a person living with disabilities that needs services, by all means, we would like to provide those for them. 
All right, Cindy, so what's the best place, uh, number one, to find out more about you guys and then certainly see uh, what, what you guys are doing? Of course, we have a website. It is hope, H-O-P-E, getsjobs.com. Or you can also call us at 813-907-3731. Also, we're on Facebook. Look us up on Facebook. It's also hopegetsjobs.com. We'd love to help you. Stephanie, I can certainly see why you and the team wanted to highlight this wonderful organization and everything oh, thank you. you're doing. Isn't it great? Yeah, Cindy and team are, are fantastic and doing wonderful work. So um, we also love to highlight, as you know, um, those game changers in the arts and culture realm. And so on June 19th at 6 p.m. in Avalon Park Wesley Chapel, we'll be having another Jazz Under the Stars event. And this one's just for dads. Well, everyone's invited, but it's a focus on, on our dads. And then we have our July 4th event that's coming up, free and open to the community on actually Sunday, the July the 4th in Avalon Park, Wesley Chapel. All right, ladies, thank you so much. Again, we love highlighting these Tampa Bay game changers and uh, head to our website to find out more details as well.